Welcome to the Hit New Game Show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play Tis the Season? Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. Welcome everyone to this episode. Let's start down here. We have uh, Mrs. Weiser and the three wise Men and women. Featuring <laughs> Olivia. Uh, Brett. <laughs> and Olivia too. Yes! And down here we have Mrs. Englert standing in for Mr. McFarland. Yes! With Waxing Fan, Britt Layman, and Lynn Montgomery. Alright, shall we get this party started? Here we go. Question 12, 12 drummers running. Donuts don't wear alligator shoes or drive hummers. Technically, no one drove a Hummer other than the military. However, the first civilian to own a Hummer was Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jean-Claude Van Damme, or Hulk Hogan. You have 10. <laughs> yes? The going with Hulk Hogan, the correct answer is not that. However, you have three, two, one. All right, the correct answer is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, no. 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 Here we go. Did you know France put the capital in punishment? I'm literally making this up. However, I'm not making this up. Or am I? The final use of a guillotine as punishment was in France on what day? September 11th, 1977. October 8th, 1839. November 17th, 1786. July 4th, 1776. Heard that first? November 17th. November 17th, 1786 is incorrect. Oh, um, October 8th, 1839. October 8th, 1839 is incorrect. The correct answer is September 11th. The day Star Wars was released. Yes, nice. Yes, the day Star Wars was released. Nine ladies dancing. All right. If Jay-Z had the same number of problems as documented in Martin Luther's theses, what would he sing? I got 76 problems, but the Bible ain't one of them. I got 88 problems, but your mama ain't one of them. I got 95 problems, but the Lord ain't one of them. I got 99 problems, but you ain't one. I got 99 problems, but you ain't one. That is incorrect. That's the original. Yeah. 95 is correct! Excellent job. Eight maids of milking. Here we go. Have you ever been to Comic-Con? Have you ever been to prison? No. All right, well, do you know who is an ex-comic con? <laughs> Bob Saget, Tim Allen, Tom Hanks, or Robin Williams? Yes? Bob Saget. Bob Saget is incorrect uh, for minus 300. Not Tim Allen. Uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen is correct for yes! yeah! All right, over to Seven Swan the Swimming. Good fences make good neighbors. Because it sits on the opposite side of the Great Wall, which country is China's best neighbor? Afghanistan, Russia, India, or Mongolia? Mongolia. Mongolia is correct with 300 points. Six geese a land. Here we go. Whom should you hit with your car to make it look like you have a Rolls Royce hood ornament? Tinkerbell, 
Rudolph, Black Panther, or Green Arrow? I heard it there first. Black Panther. Black Panther is incorrect. Oh, I'm sorry. It's from Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is correct. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I am a golden rings. Here we go. It is a this or that question. Are we ready? The rules are, I give you a clue. All right, you will need to decide which category it belongs to. Remember, you do not have to chime in, just scream it. Give me the answer. However, if you are wrong, it is minus 300 points. All right? Your choices are, is it a real foodie or is it a fake foodie? Real foodie or a fake foodie? Are we ready? Real foodie or fake foodie? Ready? All right. Marie Callender. Fake foodie. Fake foodie is incorrect. It is a real foodie. Oh, yeah. right. And Jemima. That is incorrect. That is a fake person, oh. not a real person. Minus oh. 300 over there. Oscar Meyer. Real. Real. Real is correct over there. You heard it there first with 300. Oh, okay. All right. Over here we have Mrs. Butterworth. Fake. 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 I heard it over there first with 300. Mrs. Real. Real. I heard it there oh, first with yeah. 300. That is correct for real. Uncle Bill. Real. Both of you minus 300. Oh. Oh. Real is correct over here for 300. Look behind was real. Taking us to our four calling birds question. Four calling birds. It's time for everyone's favorite question. Elephant, mustard, Teddy Roosevelt, or Dracula? Here we go. One of these is the correct answer. The subject of a Miley Cyrus tattoo. The subject of a Miley Cyrus tattoo. You have 10. Yes. Elephant is incorrect. Or are you? Four, five. Dracula. Dracula is also incorrect. Oh, it's Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. You'll have to check out her tattoos later. Three French hens. Here we go. If Batman went through the proper medieval knighthood training, what would he be called in the last stage before becoming the Dark Knight? Baron Von Batman, Lord of Bats, the Dark Squire, the Caped Countess of Monte Cristo. Okay. Yes. Uh, Baron Von Batman. That is incorrect for minus three hundred. The Dark Squire. The Dark Squire is correct. Yeah. Three hundred points. Two turtle doves. <laughs> Which cable network might provide me with hyperbaric therapy? ABC, <laughs> Oxygen, Food Network, Outdoor Channel. Yes? Oxygen. Oxygen is correct! Yeah. 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 yeah, that is correct. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, so our last question. Here is time to make up ground. Okay. And a partridge in a pear tree. Here we go. I will give you a clue. Remember, the answers are all on the board, but some of those answers are wrong. You will see all of the answers up there, so make sure you can see I will give you a clue. All right, that's what should be running through your head the entire time. Are we ready? All right, again, if you shout it out, all right, it's either minus 300 or 300 points. Are we ready? ready. Your clue. White House people. White House people. All right, White House people. There's your board. Okay, are you ready? The Golden Girls. Betty White. That is correct for 300 points. Yeah. Can't get enough. You're the baby. That is correct for 300 points. Disney Princesses. Oh, yeah. That is correct for 300 points. Superman. Uh, Go 10. Shush. Correct answer is Perry White. Uh, Family Matters. Julia oh. White. That is correct for 300 over there. Those are, that's the end of the round here. Wow. Let's see what the points are. It's going to be tight. Oh, wow. 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 300 oh, to yeah. zero. Oh. Wow. So close and yeah. almost a tie. But let's see who wins the donut party. How much do we have over here? <laughs> Hundred twenty-seven. Yeah, one twenty-seven. Hundred twenty-seven to fifty-five dollars. Everybody wins. Good job, everyone. We will see some of you.
you in the next round. Woo! Stay in the rear. Let's keep the pet population low. Oh, uh, yeah.